इसको बनाओ इसको पहले बोर्ड को करो ठीक ग्रीन करो बोर्ड को वाइट चाहिए ठीक हो गए वेलकम टूडे वी आर इन एडवांस वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स कोर्स सेकंड वीक this week is concentrating upon sthapatya mining rod the present day mathematics is working as linear order three space mathematics and technology it means we are working with three space of a linear order means a linear dimensional frame triple linear axis the domain 3 is being measured reached worked out in terms of linear space vedic systems are higher dimensional spaces system and this higher dimensional spaces systems means simultaneously different dimensional spaces are worked out so three space a linear order three space is one of the specific situation add is a spatial order four space then there is a solid order five space and likewise creative order six space the focus initial focus of the vedic mathematics of text vedic ganita sutras text which begins with first letter a is six of a six space is having ka brahma four space as a dimension sthapatya upaved its scripture mansara we are having four vedas rigved yajurved samved and atharved rigved has ayurved as upaved yajurved has dhanurved as upaved here we are having gandharv upaved and sthapatya upaved sthapatya upaved is the upaved of atharved and vedic mathematics vedic sciences vedic technologies or the applied values of the sthapatya upaved 
as such we the students of vedic mathematics we the scholars of vedic mathematics or vedic mathematics science and technology students research scholars begin with the values of sthapatya upaved and sthapatya upaved has one scripture designated as mansara and mansara preserves the values and format of his sthapatya mapdand so sthapatya mapdand which literally means a mirroring rod and it is defined as that this is the rod mirroring rod whose lord is vishnu and the maya means the dimensional order of this mirroring rod is presided by brahma vishnu is a six space lord and brahma is a four space lord now in this background let us proceed with this lesson lesson 8 which is the lesson 1 of the second week and the caption the focus here is sthapatya mirroring rod this is the rod whose domain is presided by six space lord vishnu and its maya the dimension is four space and it is presided by brahma because four space is the maya so it is called a creative order and it being six space self so it is called a self referral domain we are that way in a self referral domain means six space domain domain of a six space whose mayors are creative that is four space is the maya means the dimension in this background when we will be analyzing that if we are within a six space domain it is six space domain that here the single axis the pair of axis triple axis quadruple axis penta axis and hex axis will be making this as a rod in terms of which we can swap six space domain like when we want to swap we want three space domain then we are doing it in terms of the single axis pair of axis and triple linear axis here we are having this as a rod it makes hypercube 1 it is hypercube 2 it is hypercube 3 is hypercube 4 is hypercube 5 and it is hypercube 6 we know it is interval that is a line with pair of end points admitting domain boundary ratio as this here we are in square a square is to 4 b is to power 1 here we are at a cube is to 6 b square ahead 
we will be at a raised to the power 4 is to 8 b cube and the next is a raised to the power 5 is to 10 b raised to the power 4 and finally we will be at a raised to the power 6 is to 12 b raised to the power 5. See these initial features of the Sthapatya Mayring rod for swapping six space domain. So when we are trying to swap, trying to chase, trying to work out six space domain, then we will be having hypercube 1, hypercube 2, hypercube 3, hypercube 4, hypercube 5 and hypercube 6. Here we will be getting a raised to power 1 is to 2 b raised to power 0 and the boundary will be leading us to 2 coordinates. Here we will be getting 8 coordinates. Then we will be getting 18, next will be 32, next will be 50 and finally we will be having 72 coordinates. Now see this 8 is 2 plus 6, 18 is 2 plus 6 plus 10, 32 is 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 then we are having 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 18 and finally we are getting 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 18 plus 22 and see it is h1 it is h2 it is h3 it is h4 and it is h5 and it is h6 and summation value here takes us 2. If we sum these up, this becomes 72. And this value 72, C is the coordinates of 6 space body whose boundary is transcendental 5 space and there are 12 in components. The useful thing is that value 72 is the value of 72 shalokas of chapter 2 of Gita and it is Sankhya Yoga. And Sankhya Yoga means the Gyan but means the knowledge. So Vedic knowledge as Sankhya Yoga of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is parallel with the Sthapatya Mairing rod swapping the domain of a six space and it is a Surya sun. And this also will be leading us to Purusha, that is human frame. This initial information as it is emerging will help us further appreciate as that from Vedic Gita Sutras with its first letter 6, we are reaching 6 space then six space content means the domain manifestation thereof then we will be at hypercube six and from here it will emerge that we are reaching at Sankhya Yoga of Gita of 72 shlokas organization and same is going to be H1 plus H2 plus H3 plus H4 plus H5 plus H6. It is a six space domain.
these initial features as these are will help us appreciate and help us comprehend and imbibe as that the Devanagari alphabet, Vedic Ganita Sutras and the Gita text. These all are of the system and this system is being worked out by us, being changed by us and it is the Vedic system, it is Vedic mathematics, these are going to be Vedic sciences, Vedic technology and it will make a discipline of Vedic mathematics, science and technology. The first thing to be learned, first thing to be imbibed is that we as students of Vedic Mathematics, Science and Technology have to begin with Sthapatya Mairing Rod, which is a synthetic setup of Hypercube 1 to Hypercube 6. And it is this format which will be sequentially leading us to, say, the half units. Also it will be taking us to space content of one space to six space and the features of these as these will be the basic tools of Sthapatya Mairing Rod to be availed by us. To chase further let us now begin the way Vedic systems begin. The formulation Sthapatya Mapdand. It is to be first translated from letters to numbers. When we will translate it, it will be 3, 5, 2, 5, 1, 4, one and one, making it twenty two. It is hypercube six. Map is taking us to nine, two, five, and one. It is seventeen, and this is twenty. These together make it thirty seven, and this is the TCB of Shri Bhagwan, Srimad Bhagavad Gita is the divine dialogue, enlightenment of Lord Krishna as Shri Bhagwan. Now let us have a pause and revisit the formulation Sthapatya Mapdand. See, it is of 20, 17 and 22. Let us sum up. It becomes 59. It's a very blissful thing to note that Gita text is a scripture of 59 Uvachas. There are four participants of a divine dialogue, Tritrast, Sanjay, Arjun and Shri Bhagwan. And this text is organized as 18 disciplines of yoga and there are 59 punctuations, vachas. These four participants of divine dialogue are having 59 punctuations, 59 times there is participation in this divine dialogue. The trust is just speaking first and only as a one shloka, and the last is of his Sanjay. And from chapter 1 to chapter 18, there are 59 watchers. Like that, we can appreciate as that we, the students of Vedic Mathematics, Science, and Technology, have to initiate ourselves with the values of a sthapatya mairing rod, sthapatya map dand. 
and we will be on the geometric format of organization of Vedic knowledge. Sadhkas, sit comfortably, permit your mind to sequentially transcend from letters to numbers and numbers to sthapatya and sthapatya to space content, hypercube full units and half units. And the Devanagari formulations as these are will sequentially take us to Sthapatya Mining Rot. Thank you very much.